in this tutorial we are going to learn the draft feature in the Swervox. let's start i have already created this body with the inner and the outer faces we are going to apply the draft feature in these planes select the draft now there are three types of draft neutral parting and the step draft we will practice each and every type of the draft first of all let's select the new neutral draft you can change the angle of the draft from here if it is 12 and if it is neutral plane you have to select the neutral plane first select this upper face is a neutral plane and in the faces to draft I'm going to select this face and let's see the preview from here and draft is created in this face only exit the preview now let's apply the more options all the faces you can select all the faces at once with respect to this neutral plane see the preview now the draft is applied in all the faces you can see the draft this is the outer and this one is the inner draft in the, all the faces of this object exit the preview now try other options let's try inner face and in the selection box select one of the inner face and see the preview now this time you will find the draft only in the inner faces but the draft is created in all the inner faces again ex exit the preview now this time select outer face and in the selection boss box select the any of the outer face and see the preview go to this face normal now there is no any draft in the inner faces and draft is created only in the outer face in this way neutral plane draft works okay now select this draft and delete it now we are going to learn other options available in the draft the second type is parting line for this first of all we have to create the parting line we'll use the split command to create the parting line first of all let's create a sketch I'll draw a simple line here and go to feature and in the drop down menu of copy you will find the split line the line is already selected in the selection box select this face to create the split line now split line is created again go to draft this time select parting line angle you can change from here let's say 10 degree in direction of pull this upper face again you can change the direction pull direction and in the parting line select this line now the arrow is available now you can change the direction let's see the preview first now the draft is created only above this parting line now change the direction and see the preview now the draft is created below this parting line in this way the parting line works click ok now again delete this draft and practice the other options go to draft now this time step draft for the step draft we have to again create the step select split line and delete it also and go to any face let's select this face normal and create a sketch here start from any point and draw any shape i'm going to create this type of shape 
again go to feature same as in the previous way select the split line the sketch is already selected select the face now the split line is created go to draft and this time select step draft step draft has two options tapered one and the perpendicular steps let's see the preview first select the pull direction again this plane and in the parting line select all the lines created for the step draft and see the preview now step draft is created better change the direction first and see the preview now you will see the step draft with a tapered face go to this face now this one is the tapered one let's see the perpendicular now this time this one is perpendicular to this face again go to see the tapered now you can see the tapered draft in this way the draft command works in the solidworks you can use the draft command is your requirement i hope you learned the draft command in the solidworks today now in the draft feature there is one option left in the face propagation there is a along chain tangent option available now we are going to practice this option also delete this one and again delete this now in any face create a fillet okay radius is 10 mm now we are going to practice the tangent propagate go to draft select any type of draft neutral plane and in the neutral plane again select this plane and faces to draft select this phrase now if you select this along the tangent it will cover the other faces along this along this selected draft face see the preview now it will create the draft in the respective edges click ok in this way the draft feature works in the solidworks thank you for your time please subscribe our channel for more videos and projects in the solidworks thank you very much